think we're ready. <laughs> uh, we ready. But I don't know if they are. I don't know if everybody ready. But if you ain't, it is time. Hey, for what up, do, do, what up, do, do, what up, do, show. Yo, what up, though? It's the What Up Though Show. I'm your boy, OG Tim Wilson, and I am here with none other than the nasty boy, Big Ed Ways. What up, though, fellas? What up, what up, what up? What, what up? up? What up to the class of 83? Having a 40 year reunion this year, man. We got together down at the bowling alley, had a good time, man. So big up to all of y'all out there doing that thing, man. Y'all look great. Y'all look great. Y'all look great. So, fellas, what's happening with you, man? Nothing much, man. It's been nice as hell up here. Uh huh. Okay. Eighty degrees the last two days. Uh huh. <laughs> I've been out in the yard barbecuing, spinning records, having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Ways. <laughs> uh, here, man. Well, this game here, beautiful man. You see, I'm in t shirt now. <laughs> look, I live only two hours west of Big Ed. All right, we in the same state, y'all. I had snow today. Damn. All right, it, it is April 15th, 2023. That don't make sense. <laughs> uh, you know what that you know it's coming, right? Oh Sometimes it snows in April. <laughs> Man, it was 80 degrees yesterday. Today it was 41. Man. Nice. It was 80 today. It was beautiful today, but it's supposed to get. We got a cold front coming through the night, so it should be uh, cold tomorrow and pretty much the bulk of next week, from what I understand. But I don't know. Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 72 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 72 degrees right now. Tonight, you can look for cloudy skies moving in and out. Uh oh. A low, a low of 57. That ain't that bad. No, that ain't that bad. Yeah, I can live with a low of 57. Yeah. It's in oh, the 30s here tonight. It's in the 30s there tonight, according to Big Ed. Yeah, 36 degrees right now where I'm at. Really? Yep. I got a question for y'all, man. Um, are we do it. Let's do this, man. Let's go ahead and get this party. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot a beer. Shoot a beer. Okay. Let's do this real quick. Sorry for those that don't like the fact that we drink. We'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Yo, this is out to all my peoples out there. Class 83, y'all look good, man. I know it's our 40-year anniversary. That means we all in our 50s, closing in on 60. But y'all still look beautiful, and I still got nothing but love for y'all. This is for Class of 83. Hey. Class of 83. I don't know how to feel about that. I was born in 86. Yeah, feel good about it, baby. Feel good about it, baby. Yeah, I was, I was about five, six years old. Time don't stop with us. <laughs> feel good about it. it will, you will have your time. Mm, mm, mm. I saw, um, I ain't going to mention no names, but I saw one of my classmates' daughter hitting on one of my old classmates. <laughs> oh hell no! Yeah, and I was like, bro, you know that's old girl's daughter, right? And he was like, oh, man, she came up to me. Yeah, so you grown now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's get into some stories, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn i was getting ready to dance again <laughs> uh jamie fox is in the hospital and we don't know why but it sounds serious man um the fox family released a statement saying we wanted to share that my father jamie fox experienced a medical comp a, a medical complication yesterday Luckily, due to quick, to quick action and great care, he is already on his way to recovery. We know how beloved he is and appreciate your prayers. The family asks for privacy during this time. Much love, the Fox family. 
Man, prayers out to him. Now, today I saw this post and it was just a long list of people of all these, all his celebrity friends, you know, making statements to him. I, y'all make it sound like something, but like he ain't coming out of this. This is more serious than we've been led to believe. Right? It seems like almost. Like he didn't have a heart attack or a stroke or something. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen post i don't know the validity of them but i have seen some posts that claiming that it's due to a brain aneurysm oh wow oh not, man that's not good yeah that's not good the state of montana yeah prayers go out prayers go yeah, out prayers out fox family man I, and i don't mean to um brush over that but the state of Montana has become the first state to completely ban TikTok from all personal devices. Hmm. How, how, how do they enforce that? They can't. <laughs> what, what, what are they going to do? Now, this is the party of small government, right? <laughs> this is this is the Republican Party who who always claims to be the party of small government. I don't know, man. But this is government telling people, private people, and businesses what they can and can't do. I don't but think it's possible for them to even to go to go through with it. They just they, they, they would need serious federal leg uh register. They need federal help for this, and they don't have the federal help that they're going to be looking for. Well, actually, they have a little bit. They have a little bit more federal help than what you think, bro. Because just a couple weeks ago in Congress, there was hearings about banning TikTok. And there's been a lot of talk about banning TikTok. It's already been banned from federal government systems. You cannot have TikTok on a federal government phone. Too much information. Yeah. They're gathering way too much intelligence. They have they've gathered way too much intelligence. And that's what that's what the problem is. And it's been going on for a while, but yeah, it's, it's right. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know a, a broke clock is right twice a day. Um <laughs> well well see, another part of it is they're also blaming TikTok for the dumbing down of America. No. Because <laughs> Like the videos we see here in America, they can't watch those videos in China. The people doing the stupid shit that we see here, they can't see that over there. Well, I don't know about that, but if well, they, that that's what the reports have been. I'm just saying, if they can block content, then they can probably ban. They can probably block the whole damn app in in Montana, if that's the case. Uh, but. We're going to see how that plays out. Dun, 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 dun. Um, last night, man, it was a shootout downtown in Detroit. Now they have a curfew. Oh, right? wow. Yeah. Uh, five people, with four people were shot and one killed in downtown Detroit. Shootout. They was shooting at each other and the police. Damn. Yeah, yeah, which was, it, that was ugly. And and if you knew the area where the shootout was, you'd know this was this is a busy fucking intersection at night. And uh, so they they gotta they gotta find a way to crack down on that. Yeah. Um, my friend Monique is back in the news. Oh, what she do now? Monique is now saying that she is filing suit against CBS over her royalties from the Parkers. I don't know how to feel about that. I'd have to know more details before I could really make a judgment on that. I mean, if, if she's owed royalties, then yeah. But if she signed a contract for so much in royalties, 
and that contract don't read, you know, that's all she's getting, then yeah, you signed the contract. Your fault. You should have read it better. See, and it don't look good because I, I um, if it is legit, she's running into a case of the boy who cried wolf. Yeah, yeah. Because you're coming after everybody. You're mad at everybody. You was mad at Oprah. You came at Oprah. You're mad at Charlemagne. You're mad at Netflix. Now you're mad at uh, CBS. You get everybody. But here's the thing: the you fact mad that at Lee Daniels. Bringing, uh, <laughs> yes. The fact that she's bringing in legal a legal suit against this is the thing that tells me that this is more this is something she can actually do something about rather than just bitch and complain because it's one thing to bitch and complain like how she's been doing but it's another thing to file a, a whole legal suit against but, the organization but bro here's the thing though back uh, back when she first signed her contract to do the parkers she probably signed her contract to do probably 30 40 cents in, in royalties right and now she wants 60 70 cents in royalties well no you can't go back and renegotiate the contract here's the thing i don't know any of the facts about any of that i don't know none of that so i'm gonna refrain from even commenting on what could have been should have been what possibly been uh i'm just saying the fact that she actually brought legal matters into this tells me this has more validity than any of the other complaints that she's actually had. Well, I wish her well, but right now she's the boy of the crab wolf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so um, I don't know what to believe. I just hope I wish her well. I hope she wins. And from what I heard, the Netflix special wasn't really that good. I heard. Well, I could go on Netflix to find out. I have not watched it, but I heard it was trash. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it oh. not because of what I heard, but I, I've never been a huge fan of her. So. And and they say she came out too. Of what the oven, the closet, came <laughs> out the kitchen. <laughs> that that that's just what I heard. So I ain't worried about it. Yeah, that don't that don't excite me. Whatever. Yeah. So, about the closet these days i don't even know why you in the closet i i just want to watch the special just to see if it really is that bad just put your damn clothes back in the closet (laughs) right (laughs) in the closet no more everybody's out everybody's out on front street that want to be out on front if you hiding it now what's you what the hell you waiting for there ain't nothing to hide these days no get more work as a fact than you do as a black man this is sadly true yeah so every show i cut on every show i you just wait for it it's gonna be a gay angle eventually some nigga gonna kiss another nigga it's gonna happen mm-hmm. or you gonna kiss a chick somebody's gonna be gay yeah and bel air is the little girl it's ashley ashley's gay yeah and power is Drew. And uh, I was watching um, All America came back on. All American Homecoming. Yep. And well, she's got a gay best friend. So now, now they got him a boyfriend. And, you know, and you, go, you, you can't hide from it. Why, why would you even be in the closet? Yeah. At this point, I just look at it as, at it as you'd get more respect from me if you were just coming straight out the point saying so saying it then to sit there and hide it yeah yeah it don't make sense to hide it anymore it, it's just uh it's so it's so commonplace in our culture now anyway enough about monique all right guess who's back eminem sorry martin lawrence and will smith are teaming up again for Bad Boys 4. Ooh, wee. Bad Boys, Bad Boys, what you gonna do? Make <laughs> more movies than Fast Furious. <laughs> well, they, they got six more to catch up on, so. Yeah, well, that's it. Here's the thing. People are gonna go see this movie no matter what. But the thing that's gonna put it over the top if there is if there is a scene with Chris Rock slapping Will Smith. 
<laughs> a, there has to be a Chris Rock getting slapped joke somewhere in the field. It has to happen. Yes. They gotta figure. They they gotta get it in there somewhere. Yeah. Some kind of reference. Why not? I mean, Martin's a comedian. Oh man. You think this might be the, the movie where they try to bring in two new young talents to take their place? I don't see see that happening. Uh, I don't know. What what other movie did that other than Rocky? No, uh, Rocky didn't even do it. Rocky just started over. It was a new guy came in and he went back and found Rocky. Rocky didn't. Yeah. It was more of a tie-in, but... Yeah. What movie ever did that where they brought in their... Uh, Shaft kind of did it. Yeah. 21 Drum Street kind of did it. Um, I, I don't remember that. With Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum? Yeah. They had uh, Johnny Depp. They had Johnny Depp and the dude that played, uh, I believe his name was Doug in the show. Uh, and and it, Holly Robinson Pete actually made an appearance in it too. But I was, uh, they've gone forward with those characters as the new 21 Jump Street characters? Yeah. Okay. I was going to take the easy route on that question and say the Avengers. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I am. I have something I wanted to ask you guys. Okay. Ask away. Um, we do a show called Showdown. Correct. Which is defunct. If we do a show called The Off Season. You see, I just got the show wrong again. I get it wrong all the time. <laughs> you watch it, you realize it. I get it wrong all the freaking time. Um, oh, so check this out. So five, I'm sorry. I'm, I just found these stories. I found where I'll be hiding these stories at. It's, it's uh, um, the pizza guy or deliver the pizza to the wrong house. Okay. Yep. These guys took the pizza and ate that mug. <laughs> Hell yeah. So the people who were supposed to get the pizza went by there demanding the pizza or they money. And they got to a big fight, big shootout, five people shot. Like my girl oh. Barb would say, only in Detroit. <laughs> I was just going to say, you ain't leaving out the best part of that story. Only the wow. Fight. Right. Oh man. God damn it. Now I gotta find another dumbass. An Oregon man threw emptied out his parents' shared bank account and threw two hundred thousand dollars onto the freeway. <laughs> Why can't I ever be out there for them dudes? Right. <laughs> right. And not a family man because he's bankrupt. The, the family bankrupt. They penniless. Bro, yeah, he threw all their money out on the freeway. That, that, uh, they, uh, he get access to their money. I don't know, but he he petty as hell for that. <laughs> <laughs> like that's some petty shit to do. That's a different level of petty, bro. <laughs> he's like, okay, mom, you're not gonna give me five dollars. I got you. Oh man, yeah. Why, uh, OG? You you right? Why can't we never be there when that happens? I don't know, man. I need that in my life. So you willing to risk getting hit by oncoming cars going about 60, 70 miles an hour just for maybe a hundred bucks that you might happen to grab out of the air? Hey, them some bitches finna stop too, and I'm not just grabbing a hundred bucks out the air. I'm grabbing the six, seven, eight, nine thousand that i'm seeing around me too good luck i'm gonna tuck i'm gonna tuck my shirt in i'm gonna <laughs> stuff my pockets i'm gonna stuff my shirt <laughs> I'm you like good luck. yeah i'm you stuffing money that much you might stuff it but you ain't getting there too with i'm it. stuffing money everywhere and if anybody run near me i'm punching them 
<laughs> so they can go to sleep and I can take the money that they was going to pick up. <laughs> What'd you say? You going with that Ron Artest ball, uh, ball defense? Elbows hey. all day? Hey, I got my concealment carry. So. Okay, so we we do a show called The Off Season. Right. And um, we tossed around the idea of doing our own mock draft sometimes before the draft. Yep. Correct. So I tossed around some ideas on how we do that order. And I say, everybody do their top 10. Right. We'll just have everybody's top 10 picks. Okay. Kind of like what we do for our list for the ways versus almost. Right, right. A lot of it probably going to be the same because it's pretty consistent, but it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out in the actual draft versus how we pick our top 10. Okay. I like that idea. I'm excited. I can't wait. Right. Oh, crap. That would be in the next uh, offseason, won't it? Yep, that'll be Tuesday. Be the next off season, and that's why I'm bringing it up now. Oh, we'd have one more before the 27th. Oh, okay, okay. So we've got we've got one more, one more week, and then next week, uh, not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. Correct. Okay. All right. Sounds like a winner to me. And on that note, I'd like to say thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If you've tuned in. Uh, not a whole lot to say, man. I just want to thank you for coming through and watching this all night long. Yo, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you like what you see, like what you see. I'm your boy, OG Tim Wilson. On behalf of the Nasty Boys, Big End Ways, we are out of here like last year. Peace out. Press your crease out. Keep the police out while I bust his niece out. Party up in here, yeah, party up in here.